Am I missing uh, Joe? We have quorum, I think. So we have Sam, Perry, Richard, Carrie, Barb, Sam Littman. Um, Tom is is temporarily um, abstaining, participating in the um, in our proceedings. Um, we'll get him back soon enough, I hope. Um, so, oh, John Volts is John on? I was going to say, yeah, we. Yeah. I, he's not on yet. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye out for him. Okay, that sounds good. Um, well, I I propose we just get started. Um, I don't believe we have any members of the public on, do we, Perry? Nope. Okay. The six of us. All right, sounds good. Um, so yeah, so let's proceed. I think the only agenda item we really have is to, is to finalize our recommendation to the town council uh, regarding our landfill solar project um, bidder. Um, so um, yeah, so with that, and you know, and then you know, as soon as we come to accomplish that that task, we can you know we we can close this up. Um, but um, but yeah, since we since we last spoke. Um, We've sent some follow-up questions, you know, to all the bidders, uh, which you've all had a chance to review, um, and got 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 answers back. And we got, oh, no. I, I think, proposals from everybody, from Amoresco, um, mm. from Next Next Grid, uh, Encore, and Het, um, with their their best and final. I think two of those came in today. Is that right, Perry? Yeah. Um, so um, so yeah, I think and we and um, uh, can we even kind of going through and. You know, I think some more than others have been kind of digging through. As I, you know, I think you know, Sam Richard has been spending a lot of time on it. I've, yeah. I've tried to keep up, <laughs> Gary and Barb. I, I'll admit, I, I don't, I don't feel like I've completely kept up with the um, all of the emails and. Yeah, yeah but you're here for the quorums, so and don't worry about it. We need you. <laughs> yeah, I was in the Bay for a few days, so without internet, so I couldn't keep up with the really. Yeah, Deer Isle. My aunt has a house on Deer Isle, oh. but she doesn't have internet connected, and I don't get phone service there. So, wow. what a great place to social distance. Huh? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no worries. Well, I think over yeah, the course of this uh, this meeting, you know, we can bring everybody up to speed in terms of kind of what the, the, the analysis is and what we're thinking, so we can, you know, go into next Monday's um, council meeting um, kind of confidently with our with our, our final recommendation. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I one, seen, one thing that I really- seen HAPS. Did, did, did we, HAPS come in today? Uh, two, we got two in today. Yeah, two, Amoresco and- that final? Uh, yeah, Richard, and, uh, Richard, I forwarded that to you today. HEP came in on Friday. Yeah. I thought I saw one from him. Yeah, yeah HEP came in on Friday. It's true. But I, I sent it to you again today. Yeah. Richard, you're not getting all. You're not getting the, um, some of the emails. Well, I'm just. I just don't remember HEP. Sorry. Okay. Moscow Encore. Yeah, HEP came in with a final um, pricing at 0.087. Then they gave a. I think they had a breakout for seven years too, as well. Mm -hmm. huh. I don't see HEP. Um, so, so you sent us, what time today did you send it, Barry? Uh, oh, hang on. I can pull my email up. Eight. You know, got eight fifteen from Encore. Eight sixteen from Amoresco. Yeah, there wasn't today. So the Perry's the Hep ones the other day, I think. Yeah, I, I had sent it Friday, but I had sent it again to Richard at uh, one thirty today. I didn't see that myself. Maybe I didn't look at myself. Yeah, no, no, I just sent it to Richard only. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. See I have anyone. it. If you want me to send it to you, Richard, I have the email right here. I can forward it. Yeah, please do that. I don't. Okay. You see, you sent it also Friday. Yeah. The. Uh, it was the third. They straggle the second. in. Second. Yeah. Friday was the third. Correct. I, I got it on, on Thursday from you. Um, yeah. Was it Thursday? Yeah, because Friday we were 7. all off. I mean, I assume you were, hopefully you took the day off. You're right. Oh, yeah, th Thursday was Friday. <laughs> 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 so, yes, it was Thursday. <laughs> I just hmm. sent it to you, Richard, so hopefully you I could, because I, I don't see it on Friday either, so. Yeah, July I'm second. Thank you. And um, next grid. What I'm trying. I'm also looking for a final next grid. Um, I, yeah. didn't I, I didn't see anything from them. No. Okay. 
Not this time, no. All right, so the best and final is what we, what we have from them. Um, so I think, you know, um, Sam, can I put you on the, on the hot seat? You, you did, did some, well, some yeah, I was number crunching. Well, yeah, I was numbers, yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted everybody to see it. But, yeah, so what I tried, of course, uh, Richard pointed something out today, which is really important that I never looked at, was that one of the next grids, um, uh, and I want to mention this, the next grids, uh, 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 part of their offer was on a rooftop. And, and, and so <laughs> we'd have to go back them and say, you know, um, you, are you comfortable with what you have in terms of at least the quote without the rooftop? I mean, that's kind of fair. But what I tried to do was take the best three offers, which are basically, uh, when I say three, three different types of offers, the discount rate, the best, um, uh, the best of the, the fixed PPA, and the best and a couple of the best uh, different uh, escalators. One 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 was a one point five percent. One was two percent. And then I threw them into two different um, tariffs. Uh, and I only, they are two different tariffs that actually exist. But I really did it for the one that we have currently in the middle. We call the medium size. And then took the next one up to see what would happen if we had a, a higher tariff, what would happen to these numbers? And I'm going to tell you, um, I was always, uh, before this, I was obnoxiously for what I thought not, never could have been beaten, the 29.5%, which is now 31% discount from Encore. But lo and behold, when I looked at these things, it wasn't like that. And, and, and it made sense to me because, um, Based on what we have now, of course, the, the you know, a set rate, if it was the same rate for 20 years, which everybody has pointed out to me, makes no sense at all, um, then the tariff rates for the same NEV tariff rates, then that discount rate looks very good, okay? And I guess we'll look a little better at 31% discount. But I think it's all the same thing. However, as we, if we trend up, and it makes sense, for every penny you, 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 you trend up, a fixed PPA is gonna gain that penny, okay? And for every penny that goes up, the discount rate will gain that 29 or 30% of that penny, okay? So what happens is, as things trend up in price, or that is to translate, the tariff rates go up um, with the probably the energy supply side and, the, and or the de delivery side, being formulated for the next year, then the the uh, PPA prices seem to look better at that point. Okay, uh, and if obviously for the same reason, if the if for some reason we had a disaster and the prices went down, and the tariff rates went down, then the discount rate will look better. And I think that's pretty much the rule of law here when I started looking at this stuff. And that's that's what this whole jumble jingle thing table meant. Okay, and I, I predict. No, I predict it's pretty well said that no matter what point in this, say if we put more tariff rates in, that that's going to happen no matter what. So the question is, the first question is, are, are we are we comfortable with the idea that and it seems like people are more comfortable with the idea that that these rates will go up, okay, as opposed to going down or staying the same? That's something to put to, to talk about when in our discussion as to what what we pick purely from a price point, okay, purely from a price point. The other thing I did was I took and created a model around um, what would happen if we had this, and I just used seven year breakout or seven year buyout. And um, by looking at the numbers on the table, uh, it was pretty obvious to me because there is a catch up period that in those seven years, those lower PPA rates with an escalator we're going to do better for that seven-year period when they lose that steam as they went forward to too many many more years. So, if we decided that the best thing we're going to do is buy something in seven years, then we have to look at something different in terms of, of the. So, what we have here is really three different types of strategies based on the kind of hypothesis we use in terms of what we think is going to happen, what we're going to be doing. Um, does that make sense, to everybody? Um, and so, uh, and then, so what I did was with the second model, I looked at what was the half rate 
And at that time, that was kind of the best rate. I think it's a little better. The, the, um, the Amoresco's new rate is a little bit better as far as the bio is concerned. Um, I didn't use it that much. To tell you the truth, Amoresco's pricing wasn't as good as the others in the first place. So I, the half rate might be a good one to use. Anyway, it looked pretty feasible to me. If we buy something in seven years, now I, all my, all my, my model, um, and, and does everybody have this model, by the way? Am I talking just through my, okay. No, I have it. I don't know if others So do. I can, as you can see, I put, there's some, if you look at the dashboard, I've got 13 cents and it could be 12.7 cents. I can put, I, can, I got 10 years worth of Rex at 20 at two cents. I can change that. But just, you know, some baseline stuff here. Um, it looks pretty feasible if it, and then we were talking about the, the interest rates on the loan being around 2%, which I can tell you is pretty truthful because I'm doing a couple of municipalities uh, down east and they're getting a 1.99% interest rates on their loans. Now, I can change that too to a higher or lower, or a higher rate. But looking at what I have there right now, it looks like it's really feasible to, to do the buyout. Okay, now in deference, carry to, to, to um, the idea that you and, and two councilmen actually like the idea of be, being, um, being able to keep their recs. It's one of the reasons why one would buy in seven years. I didn't eliminate the recs here, but that's easy to do as well. So you can play with that model too, by the way, it's playable, okay? And, um, but from what I see right now, it's a, it's a very real proposition to be able to, to buy something out in seven years. It looks pretty good to me, okay? So if you go back to the original model, and um, the original table that I had, and we and we wanted to we 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 agreed or we didn't have to agree, but we think that it's very feasible to to buy the project in six or seven, seven years. Then one of the PPAs uh, with a, an escalator would be the best bet. So the other point I made was if you take the eight point seven cent, one point five percent escalator versus the 8.2, uh, the 8.8 .8 cent, 2% escalator, it's gonna take 19 years for the 8.7 uh, with the 1.5 cent escalator to reach that same number as far as savings for the other one. So I eliminated the 8.7 cent one with the 1.5% escalator and made the, made the better offer, at least for the, the the PPA with a um, escalator to be that eight cents with a two percent escalator. Whew, that's it. <laughs> does the does the analysis differentiate between any of the vendors, or <clears throat> is this germane to the vendor we select or not? Yeah, well, where it does, where, where you mess that up for us was simply this. Um, yes, of course. I didn't. I look. I didn't. I took the best offers. I looked blindly at this thing without looking at a vendor, okay? But it, it's, it appears that um, a couple of the best rates are coming from next grid. And so now we've got to figure, you know, there are other factors here, right? Um, and and uh, one of the factors is, of, is that in, in some ways at this point, next grid is kind of non-conforming to what we were, were, were originally getting it. So we'd have to go back to them. But again, keep this in the spirit like it was. It is basically, I took the price ideas, savings idea, and just threw everything out as, as something else. And this is just purely on that basis, okay? So obviously there are other factors here, okay? Does that answer your question, Richard? Well, I, you know, I don't know if it's, if there's significant, if, if, the, if this results, this is only a discussion based on whether or not we determine we decide whether to, do, to buy out in seven years, uh, and that has bearing on on our vendor. It has a significant impact on the vendor selection. Then we need to look at it closer. But if it doesn't really have any bearing on on final vendor selector, then uh, let's proceed to selecting the final vendor. Yeah, in a way it does. And and my only point here was that. NextGrid has has two of those. When I went back, NextGrid has two of the, the of the three of the three left over. What would you call the better offers? And Encore has the other one. But if you also look at the breakout, 
the issue with NextGrid and with, let's say, um, Encore, which are the two best prices based on their different types of strategies, they're on basically a fair market value basis. And HEPT is the only one that has a decent, that has the other price point. See, so it's not quite, I've made it a little more complicated in some ways, okay? Thanks to me. <laughs> of course, the savings from that, you know, if I just look at the savings, I just plugged in the numbers for the reduced, you know, taking the rooftop out. Yeah. Of course, that drops next, you know, that's not like, like, yeah, like, yeah, good, good point. Okay. It's, it's, how does production matter? And, and the argument can be one way. Well, it does to some extent, but we can always, we can always go and get a solar farm to make up the difference too, you know, at the same rate or this, as good a rate as that. So, um, I, you know, it, again, uh, try and the other, try the other not to- The other next, next grid is that, you know, they didn't get the message. I mean, all the other vendors have given us what we wanted to. You know, we've been at this for three months and, you know, they didn't hear us. Yeah. Yeah, me as a, sort of an indication of what kind yep. of a, they're not paying attention. Yep. Yeah, so, so you could easily argue, easily argue, and again, it's like now we're doing Richard, we're putting things together and things look a little bit different, right? Um, we can say, well, because of what you said, rightfully so, really, given the fact that HEP has the, the, the next best price in terms of the, um, the regular PPA rate with an escalator, um, and and if we wanted to buy out in seven years, and the, and they have a decent buyout price, that may be the way to go. Okay, I mean I, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying you've got to put those factors together and and come up with something that makes sense. I don't want to get to the point where making a final recommendation because you can see where there there are some pros and cons in this here. Mm -hmm. And the, the question about NextGrid's bid being non-conforming is because they included the the, the roof on the the, the shed. Yeah, that's 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 the that's yeah, main kicker. I mean, but but not getting too fussy about that. If you reduce two things, as Richard says, if you reduce that, their production levels are much lower than others. Uh, I don't know why, but they are. Mm -hmm. Um, again, this is some of the larceny that comes into this this play that Kerry pointed out right off the bat. Okay, there are some differences between the production levels of these of these different, and there shouldn't be any difference really, except for the uh, wattage on the uh, panel um, mm -hmm. might change the production itself, but not the production levels. So, so I believe that that if we we're talking about this. Um, uh, if ne you, the question for next year, if you were still allowing them to continue because uh, they, they may still have the best offer. If you reduce this, are you giving us the same price, number one? Number two is, do we want to accept a lower production from somebody, okay? Versus a higher production at a little less savings on a per watt basis. Yeah, I mean, was, I mean, I guess we would kind of you know, plug it into the um, uh, yeah, scoring matrix that we came up with, you know, where we kind of, you know, uh, you know, put, put, you know, we weighted the different, different factors. Um, yeah, have we, yeah. uh, and I know I haven't done this, so I apologize, but have we, uh, have we updated that scoring matrix that, that Tom had put together? I think we had a good final one, yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Um, I so, sent out a while ago. I sent out one. You said you sent that out. Okay, let me find. See, I will. I will make one. I will make one recommendation, though. I think we need to. We need to think about saving money first. Even, and, and I know I'm. No, I'm kind of bypassing it. I didn't think, from my point of view, that. Um, and I know that um, Richard has his misgivings about next grid for good reason. Uh, but I didn't think Amoresco came to the plate on price at all. Okay. I think we'll, we'll, we'll that, that, that they wouldn't be, I, I think that's a, a big part of, I mean, it's, it should be weighted very heavily. I think they could have, I know they could have, and they decided not to come to the plate with, any, any, with, a, with a good price compared to some of the others, okay? I think it's a 
huge factor. Yeah, I'm, I mean, part's a big part of it, yeah. I'm concerned about this tree removal issue as well, actually. I think that that will be an issue. And I, and I would, would not let them go up in production because of the tree either. I agree with you. Why should because they? So, yeah. We had the, one of the ones we got today, so they were taking, I think it was on course, as they're proposing taking down three acres of trees. Yeah. Yeah. And they basically proposed a new offer. I mean, it was a whole new deal. Yeah. yeah. Basically another option. And so, you know, I don't know why they they clouded the issue by throwing that in at this late date, but they did. Yeah, yeah you so, made that point. They also answered questions about, you know, their original offer. Hmm. Look at their original offer. They're not taking down many trees. And I think you should go back there. The question is, are they going to go to the 31%? If they if they if they go to the original offer, are they going to stay at the twenty nine and a half percent discount? Well, I thought um, that was pretty clear what they said. Yeah. They they basically in their in their response they had the first part of it they said what the new one is and then they answered specific questions and I think that indicated whether or not they were going to change it or not. I don't, I don't think they were. Okay. okay. But Amoresco, I mean, they did drop their their bio price from you know, after seven years from one point seven million to one point three, which was yeah, and, and so in that we 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 face these contradictions, don't we, to a certain 1. degree? 4, I'm sorry. Yeah, one point four. And it, but 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 see, so the, the argument I would have is that's great, and they probably I didn't look at what their production levels versus HEPs on, on a, what basis was, but they're pretty close. HEP is a little bit more expensive, I think, and my model shows HEP with the sales tax, by the way on there. So if you see that's 15 something, not 14 something. And, and again, I'm not arguing for HEPA, not against any of these guys, but the question is, you still have to have an initial price that's competitive with everybody else's that's in there, uh, even though your breakout uh, or your sale price is maybe a little bit better. Okay, so um, I think our first, my argument is your, your, your first consideration is how much are we gonna save today? You know, um, but that, that's why, to me, HEP becomes more of a compromise than anybody else at this point, now that I think about it. And I sweat to say that, because I didn't even, they didn't even have it in my top three. <laughs> Carrie, one thing, uh, you sent me the email, it didn't have attachments to it. Didn't oh. have the attachments to HEP? Yeah, let me, maybe I sent the wrong thing. Okay, uh, let no, me try again. Separate. It says have proposal. There are just no attachments to it. Huh. All right. All right. I know we've had that problem before. Oh, and by the way, the other two, of course, uh, next next uh, encore and next grid were both fair market value, weren't they? On the on the break on the uh, seven year. Yeah, to me, yeah. I mean, fair market value seems completely unreasonable. I mean, for for one of these these firms to give us a specific number of seven years from, from now, mm -hmm. you know, what the, the value will be. I don't know if that, I mean, that 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 paints everybody in the corner. You know, doesn't, doesn't provide any room for, for flexibility. Yeah. So one of the proposals that came back today said something mm -hmm. interesting about rules about the price that they could sell it at. Um, Encore said that that they were. They were obligated by some regulation that they had to they had to sell it at fair market value. Yeah, they, there's, there's, some, the there's some credence to million. that. There's some credence to that, and there really is. Most of my leasing guys uh, tell me the same thing that they can't commit to anything but fair market value. As a matter of fact, the people who deal with the ag department on the ag uh, leases uh, are are, are uh, under buyouts are obligated not to give you a price. So there is something to that. Hmm. And by the way, there's nothing wrong. I'm not sure that you're gonna be better off. And again, I'm, I'm arguing different directions here and I'm, and I'm, I'm not, just a discussion, but I'm, um, we may be better off with fair market value at the end of the day. Because not only is it fair market value, there's also a bit, bit of negotiation go on too uh, at that point. Mm -hmm. So um, it just doesn't give us any thing to hang ourselves on, you know. Well, given the fact that we're that we that there's 
all of them are going to have to sell at fair market value. What impact did that have on the on the analysis that you did after seven years? Because we really don't know the price from anybody. Well, at that point. I, I only got what I got. In other words, I, I did what, what I could best with the guys to, sh to show some sort of um, um, what I at, knowing what we know and what we've been given. This seems feasible. That's all I'm, I'm, the statement I'm making. Um, uh, do I think that fair market value is somewhere? It's usually somewhere between um, seventy percent in seven years to eighty percent. Okay, that's a big range, right? Um, and I could easily, and this is a very flexible model. I can easily plug in stuff in five seconds and 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 change that model. Okay. Well, when when you actually, because because we we actually do this. Um, so when you when you um, when you actually calculate the fair market value, they're going to be looking at what the actual price of, you know, what the actual CMP rate is at that time. Yeah. Um, to, just to see what the value is. Right. Um, That's the basis. Find, That'll be the basis price. Yeah. Yeah. Price. Yeah. 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 To find yeah. The, yeah. Well, we, per, we, it says we're per IRS more. regulations, any sale of the project must transact at a price no less than the fair market value of the project at that time. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that they can't give us a deal now. That's a good point. I so think may, so. Maybe the, the, the both companies, next grid and Encore, were more okay. More so right on I, here. I wasn't familiar with that rule, but it might have something to do with the ITC or. Hmm. Um, well, here's a question for you, Carrie. Um, and I was wrestling with this. If because I have another possibility, a little rabbit here, if, if it works. If if the ITC is taken up, and I don't know why I didn't look this up myself. And something is bought, obviously at a lower basis. Can ITC be reinstalled, st stated by the second uh, proprietor at all, or even even make its appreciation? I I think that I I'm going to try to find. I think that the problem might be is if you sell it less than if they sell it less than fair market value. Yeah. Then I think that the developer might be at risk for some of the ITC that they've already received. Um, yeah. I think that might be it, but I, I sort of have a vague recollection of that rule. Um, um, All right, well, based on what you said, uh, Sam, um, the price that we got from Amoresco today, it's 70% uh, of the original price. They yeah. haven't changed the original price. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Encore, the price that they gave us today for their seven-year buyout is 82% of the original. So probably a more realistic number. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and Encore was, yeah, was a lot more generous in the first place. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, again, I, I think that we're discussing this thing, and, and obviously it's not – an easy thing to, to figure this out at this point. Um, maybe, Carrie, from what you said, and I think the point is well taken, maybe the, the idea that everybody stays equal, we forget about the seven-year buyout for the time being that it's available, obviously, under all of the, all of the finalists so far, right? And that we can we concentrate more on the other factors, including the initial price, and go forward because we got to do something about that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna tie ourselves up like crazy otherwise, okay? Uh, or other factors, and, and and as I say, I if all other things were equal, I would look at next grid very favorably. But but Rich has pointed some pretty strong things out here, you know. So let's just lay those all out then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At this point, so we've got the you know the, the the four the four shortlisted ones that we've that we have, um, and uh, you know right now right now so the next grid you know for for theirs you know they're one of the the, the, the leading contenders. Um, their proposal changed in the sense that they actually increased production by removing three acres of of tree plantings, which is 
Um, yeah, something we didn't have. That encore we talking about? Here? That was next. That was next. The next period. Next period. All right. I believe, right? Or uh, Encore. Encore did that. Encore. Encore. Encore, Encore basically submitted another proposal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I think we just we just should ignore that and just go back to their look for their original one, which is just landfill. That, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that, that's, that's we cool. we agree on that. We agree on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, so so going back and compare, comparing Encore and NextGrid, um, yeah, NextGrid's production was higher, but again because they have the rooftop on top of the shed. Um, you know, and we again we can take that on. Richard, you said you took the, you were able to, to pull that out. I was start looking at the proposal. I couldn't really see exactly what the production from that from well, those phrases was. Well, the bit where I found it, it was on the um, the site uh, stuff they sent us today. Yeah, and it's yeah. consistent. It was on the original one too. It was on the original one too. I just missed it <laughs> myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, it was it was on the original side yeah, yeah, yeah. When well, you said I went right back to it, no, their production is, but it's even then their production. The other productions are high, pretty high. If you look at Amoresco's production, you look at Encore's production. I think they're pretty high. And Hep's production is higher, anyway, for sure. So, so Amoresco, Hep. I'm not sure what Encore's were exactly, but I know that the, the Hep and Amoresco's are pretty high. They're higher even than uh, even with the three acres. This is my memory I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Just I'll just give it to you what it is here in just a minute here. Yeah. I don't want to put things on the screen, but I have to. Like it seems strange. Next Grid didn't um, provide a best and final at all. A what? Um, does that seem odd to anybody else that they didn't reply? I guess you can't like really put that in a waiting like do you have so, a warm and fuzzy so, so feeling from there or next not? Grid at, we have next year with the rooftop at 1329909 first year production. We've got revision encore at 1293999. Oh. And then we have um we have Amoresco at 1526. So one million it's one million five hundred and twenty-six thousand eight hundred and sixty. Um that's kilowatt hours and and also HEP very close to that, actually the highest. At one million five hundred seventy-five thousand five twenty, so mm -hmm. um, the lowest production out of those four, if you take the rooftop off by far, is next grid. Mm -hmm. And actually, to um, to clarify, next grid did reply with a response to our blessed and final request. They didn't actually propose; they didn't propose anything differently, but they did reply, so they were responsive. Which was good. Oh, it was, yeah. So they would they would be um, you know so yeah. HEP has the highest production and the, the best and and the best escalator besides next grid. HEP is yeah um, HEP has got the, the highest production. Yep. Which is one five seven. Amoresco is the next, which is one five two six. Mm -hmm. An encore one two three one two nine three. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I, but what I like about encores, Richard, is that if you look at their production level at twelve fifty, I think that's more realistic production levels too for the kilowatt hours to kilowatts. Kind of interesting to me. Next grid without the roof, just the landfill. Eight, eight something, seven something. Is a one million one hundred thirty-two thousand. Yeah. One point two. Yeah. So it's yeah. like. These um, are all, yeah. 10, 15% less than Encore. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble tracking all these numbers. Okay. Uh, if you look at the... Version yeah. four of the analysis. The, wait, Richard's your analysis? This is the, yeah. this is the latest spreadsheet that Tom sent. Yeah. That Tom sent. I just put in and I subtracted from, from next grid, the rooftop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I have those on a spreadsheet anyway, because it would drive me nuts if I didn't. Uh, not that, I'm not that. Yeah, that makes sense. Can, yeah. I can show yeah. you a graph if you want a screen, screen save. Can you um, do a screen share? Just a minute, let me get let me get a graph here that you want to see. 
See, some of these things made so much less sense to me sometimes because I was looking at some of these production numbers and some of the, the panels are the same, same, almost the same, and they're, the numbers sometimes are very different. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, did some yeah. of them have a more accurate? Um, well, there are, there's only two types of uh, really, I think two types of, and you know this, we, we got some helioscope, we got PB cysts. I think PB cysts runs a little higher and a little more accurate with, with specific equipment, but nobody's, everybody's doing, you know, a standard um, forecasting product. Yeah. Just, it's the way they, I was told that maybe the way they do the rows and the shading, well, you have to go down to, I don't want to get involved too much in this thing, but, but if you look at, at, at the orientation, sometimes you can tell a little bit difference the way they, uh, where they'll, they'll put the rows, like, um, you know, the extreme is the uh, revisions where, um, where they went down to like a 130, 30 on their, on their, on their, uh, what was it there? Is it there? Yeah, their azimuth, which was ridiculous and would have caused all sort of, of shading issues. And then that showed in their 696 um, AC. But um, other than that, most of them are fairly close. Mm -hmm. I, did, I did send everybody an email that I got 12 days ago. I just found it because uh, NextGrid did not send a new proposal. Yeah. It did a three sentence response. Um, Right. I just sent that to everybody by email if you want to take a look at it. It's yeah, I just saw it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. yeah, that seems um, acceptable, that the fact that you know, at least they replied with something. Well, yeah, um, they decided not to change their... That's fine. Their, their, yeah. Their, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's not, that's not the issue. There are other right. issues. Um, bio, bio. Come on, come on. Bit of analysis. Let me see something here. No, that's the other one. I'm hoping I'm not screwing up the screens here. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing your I'm not seeing your screen if you're, good, if you're trying good. to. So uh, I'm not I'm not hogging the screen. I, I have a I'm so not so good at this thing where um, okay, so in the, so we yeah, but you see the best uh nine point four zero one point seven yeah. The best darn pricing at, at, at the fixed PPA rate definitely is with, and the 2% as well is with NextGrid. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's, that's, their, that's their strength. That's their strength. Mm -hmm. uh, but it isn't, you're right, it's not the only factor. And the, neg the negatives weighing against NextGrid in that case are, I mean, the, the numbers you just, you just, um, you're looking at, Sam, are without the rooftop, is that right? Just so well, you know, I'm looking at, I'm looking at just the, yeah, well, I don't know if it is, they haven't given me one out rooftop, I'm just getting looking at their price. One of them, they're the ones that put out the 9.4 cents uh, uh, fixed PPA, no escalator, and the 8, eight cent, Two percent mm -hmm. uh, PPA escalator, and and that was the best of those categories. And both of them are pretty strong candidates by themselves in terms of pricing either upward trend or, or not. And then and Encore has the you know that the only really decent discount rate of the group. They, in fact, nobody else has a discount rate. So it's you know again I. I only want to do pricing to kind of untangle the, the trends a little bit. Yeah, right, right. I mean, right now, and again, I, I'm i a little surprised from my point of view, uh, as I said, I would have gone more towards Uncle. Right now, I'm heading towards HEP. <laughs> well, what we were worried about with HEP is that they had limited US experience. Yeah. That was our concern before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they yeah. do have a worldwide reputation, though. Very, very Germany is uh, pretty darn good in, in um, 
solar, and that's their when they yeah experience. But when what ex what experience did they have in the U.S. at all? I can't remember. Uh, they did have some. Um, I haven't got I've got it. I've got a summary here somewhere. I'm trying to do too many things here at the same time. Yeah, like when say, the, only, the only one I would really eliminate only because I can't, this is my personal opinion. I think price is still the most important thing. I just, even though Amoresco is a, is a big player and they've come up with a, with a, a number for seven years and they do high production, I, their pricing really lags, you know, I think they could have done them. I, I was hoping they'd do a much better job on this second round. Um, maybe we ought to, you know, I, how much of a, maybe we ought to start taking these things one at a time and, and uh, identifying which ones are the most important yeah. or whatever. But let's say trees, for instance. If you look at the trees, Encore and HEP have the least amount of tree removal. Um, also, it looks like, um, you know, Amoresco's proposal, their, their, their base proposal, they're still, eliminating, they're still removing about a half an acre of trees. Yeah. Looks like next grid, it's hard to say, but it looks like they're not taking back down many trees anyways. So if you look at Encore, Hep, next grid, as far as tree removal, it looks like they're pretty close to the same. And only Amoresco has got a, may, may have a problem there with, with a half an acre. That's basically the tree situation, and I think it's it shows on what I uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the PDF file that I sent out today. You'll see that basically is there. I'm looking at the at the HEP proposal from March, and um, I see one propose one system configuration um, where they're removing eight acres of trees. Probably they have more than one proposal, yeah. But that's but if you have to look at their landfill only option. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that same. Yeah. Did you did you have you seen the uh, did you look at the the uh, PDF file I set out on the tree comparison today? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. That that's the latest information that I've been able to, to assemble. Although I didn't have HEP. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Richard. I'm I'm looking at the HEP, and I only see this eight-acre project. I think they sent us a different proposal because their first proposal was completely non-conforming. It was. Really Maybe I'm only looking at that one then, yeah. Yeah, we would have had to eliminate them, I think. Um, yeah. But now I'm trying to find it myself and having trouble. Um, if I remember right from a previous meeting, weren't they on the chopping block as far as yeah. being in the, in the group of mm -hmm. or not? Okay, okay so HEP, while we're talking about them, I got this out, out here, this newer proposal, um, uh, and it is landfill. Um, I, what is, there's also something, they, they've got a tailing for five extra years at 7.5%. Did you see that one, that part of it? on page, uh, second page, or the first page, besides the introduction letter, gives you option one, option two. Which proposal? Uh, the HEP, the most recent HEP proposal. What day, what, what day did that come in? I only see the March 13th one. July 2nd, they have it. They, I don't know if it came in then, but July 2nd is what is dated. Uh, 
Okay. That's the one. If you look at if you look at the oh, okay, um, yeah, you got it. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, that's still. I mean, the, the, the other five years is kind of non-conforming, but they're taking a chance, you know. Um, at that rate, because because we don't have a tariff rate set in that either. That's a straight energy price, or a straight price. No, it's a straight price, actually. So we'd be going against our energy costs only then, theoretically. Okay, probably not worth looking at right now. That seems to be a better, um, so that price has the same escalator. It's a lower price per kilowatt hour. Option two I'm talking about. It's a lower price per kilowatt hour hmm. um, over the first 20 years. The right. only difference is that, the difference is that then we get locked in for an additional five years. Yeah seven and a half cents for the energy. Yeah, they mixed it in there, but the problem basically I, that I see here again, it's we're getting way down the road, is that if we, there's not a tariff for credits at that point, we're taking a seven and a half cent rate, and we're really going up against pretty much our supply side. Right, exactly. I think that's what it would be, because it's probably unlikely that um, yeah. net metering will be available. So it's a little bit too much to chew off at, to, at this point, and Again, it's probably a little bit unfair too. Um, but but you know, but you know. regarding HEP, do we like when you did the interviews with them? Hmm. I mean, when you talk to the references, were the references projects like who were their references? And good point. I didn't see any references from them. So we yeah, haven't contacted. Did, weren't Sam, weren't you the one who was contacting the references? I was yeah, contacting we reached references that I could that were given to me. I've contacted uh, Next Grids and uh, Encores, um, whoever else, you know, I, I, I contact. In fact, um, as, as Sam will, will laugh at me, one of Next Grids references was, was an old um, friend of mine who used to be in the business and we had a long conversation about Next Grid. Uh, but anyway, I also contacted the uh, the town, the, uh, I think it was Norton, but no, I didn't get anything to do, I don't think, unless I missed it from HEP. Well, yeah, HEP was, HEP was weird, I'm trying to think they had anybody to say. Yeah. We, we emailed, we emailed the references that were listed for the, on the municipal side um, of people, let me see. Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't, HEP, HEP was very strange. They didn't have any say. Yeah, yeah, you guys are making a very good point here. <laughs> I saw you. I, I got to admit, um, I don't want to bounce my, around, but I'm just not a bounce. I'm going to slow down here. My thinking. Barb, what do you think? You haven't talked to us about what you think. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so so um, HEP didn't give us reference, or we didn't? The references didn't pan out for HEP? Well, no, I, I didn't get any references. I don't think we had, I don't think we had any negative references so far. I mean, in terms of anybody well, I call, I call about three or four. HEP didn't have anybody on the municipal side. Um, and that's kind of we were focusing. So, um, you know, I went to, I, I went to, 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 you know, make sure we got a hold of and, you know, spoke with the people who, uh, you know, like us were dealing with these projects right. in terms of management. And so HEP had nobody. HEP had, um, they had uh, a couple of lawyers in, in Portland, an engineer, and a, and a bank, a uh, bank or savings bank. But they didn't have any, any actual municipal folks, which I thought was really strange. Yeah, but bank is not what I wanted. If yeah. they only have a few pro limited projects in the country, they might not have done any yet. Right. But the, uh, the references that, you, that we contacted were, were okay? 
Yeah, yeah. Everybody was you know, the references that we that we, that we uh, spoke to were were great. Yeah, um, they're pretty, actually, they're pretty glowing, actually. <laughs> but you didn't talk to any for help because you only contacted me just for once. That's right. Okay, right. So, so, we should, so at this point, we ha we don't have any references for HEP. So that, but we should get some if. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, we don't want to not do references. Okay. At all. Yeah, if we, I mean, if 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 they're going to be our. If our, our if we think we're going to recommend them, I think we have to call yeah. whoever they have provided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about going back to next grid, despite you know their not their response not being a hundred percent, and asking them the question whether even despite their production numbers that they'll keep the price they have because they were the best prices out there overall of the PPA side. Sorry, what do you what do you want to do, uh, Sam? My qu my question is, I mean, we've we've talked about HEP, we've talked about Encore seems fine, but we've talked about um, uh, Amresco, we've talked about um, Encore, but we see I'm coming back to next grid. I'm wondering whether we should. I mean, we're not sure that they're going to keep those same prices for a, the non rooftop part. So. Maybe we need to ask that question too. Because right now they're including a rooftop. I've got, yeah, got I've got average annual savings to the town and I've got production rates graphs for the group here. Looks to sponsor. If you want to take a look at those. Sure. From what I'm hearing, Amoresco's out? Well, no, I, that, that's my opinion. Nobody said that. I'm the only one that's kind of pulling that. I think, yeah, uh, Perry, what I'm saying is basically, uh, I would feel very, very, um, there it is, not so, so good about offering somebody, despite everything else, the highest price of all the finalists, okay? I, I really would have a hard time with that. I can't get over that particular one. Not every, none of these guys, they're like me. They have faults, all of them. <laughs> but um, they're, they're not perfect. But, and, and they were one of the highest on cutting down trees as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. See, Encore, the pro, not, not, not the issue, again, uh, uh, Richard, the reason why I look at Encore is in a case in time right now, Encore would be the, the, the winner, okay, in terms of price. Because again, when there's no, when you're not taking, talking about trend up or trend down, but when you start trending up in, in, the, uh, in the tariff rates, I'm afraid they would start looking, start reversing themselves. Because again, every every buck or every cent that goes up in the tariff rate, they're moving up at a um, at a third of a cent, okay, or less, and, and everybody else's the P, regular PPA rates are moving up at that cent. They're gaining the whole cent, especially the fixed PPA rate. Thomas, um, is that, is that going to be? Can can we um, negotiate this too, so we don't have to? take exactly what they say we can negotiate with whoever we pick to get a more favorable rate for us right absolutely there are no rules set there but you know is the differences that you say is going to be eroded is it going to be eroded by the amount we're seeing here which is almost 30 percent of an on difference yeah it could be and again i at, on what i was able to garner from my little tables there was that at, at a cent and a third, you take this particular, their, the rate of 12.7592, uh, I like that, but what our present tariff rate is, and you go to the next tariff rate, but I only use it for numbers, at 14 cents, over 14 cents, it kind of reversed itself in terms of, of the, the savings, okay? Is this after, this is after the seven-year purchase though, right? Yeah, well, okay. 
but the seven year purchase, not necessarily after seven years, way before that probably. But again, I, I only put two, two places, it's about the tariff rates because the seven year purchase, the advantage was for the escalator starting at a lower price, but it's still a PPA rate. So my, my contention there was simply, okay, for the first seven years, that 8%, that 8 cents and 2% is, is a seller price because that's starting at an 8 cent price, okay? Um, but as far as what I'm focusing now here, Richard, is taking the discounted approach versus the, the actual PPA, set PPA approach. And if you take the discounted approach, you're safer from an up and down side because you'll never go underwater, okay, under any circumstance because it's always floating back and forth. But on an upside where we, where uh, I've been argued against and probably rightfully so that this is gonna trend up over the next 20 years, then you're gonna see a big difference in terms of how this turns. And I think it shows in my little table from the difference between the tariff rate at 12.7 cents and the tariff rate at 14.8 cents. You look at the two tables that I have there, okay? And you can verify that the way you want. That's where this thing may be a little misleading. It's not misleading in a place, in, in a set time period like now, but it may be in a, in a, in a more dynamic setting when we're moving up. The other one is just the production and the course. That's just what we talked about. HEPA has got the most and then Amoresco is pretty much the same. And then there's, there's Encore drops down. And then next we get a little less production once you once you take out the, the rooftop. So this is <clears throat> it's just limiting that there uh, shows the difference in production. Hmm. And all their options with the all the basically all their options is showing so the more significant the more significant one of course is the average saving and of course if you look at the end the NPV graph it looks very similar. MTVs, yeah. I mean to me that's the most compelling graph right there. You know, the the yeah, you know, and that's one I think that will probably the town will be the most interested in. You know, like, you know where we're gonna have to see the most savings. Um yeah, and as as for you know, would we go for a, um, a tariff that is a fixed price or a percentage you know under uh, kind of the you know guarantee percentage under? I think I think the guarantee percentage under would be you know more you know again kind of you know something that they would more be more interested in. Yeah. in. Um, so this is this guaranteed savings as opposed well, to um, although, the only, the John, only problem, guys. Uh, the last time uh, yeah. John was advocating for a fixed price or a fixed I, yeah. I think just a, a price that you knew um he was saying that yeah towns like to just know what the price yeah. is yeah. for their budgeting yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. um that's true yeah that might be i mean oh, on a 20-year period carry a fix the fixed ppa and next grid is is definitely the most um desirable by the way i wanted to make another point here a question here <laughs> for you richard the savings that that this shows is this based on the savings that is predicted by each of these companies with the, with the, the, their their idea of inflation inflating uh, the tariff rates themselves or are they based on a fixed process product there it's just basically all i did was just take take the the models that that tom had prepared yep and um uh, just plugged in the new productions production rate and then okay. everything just fell off from up from it. So the, okay. so the same assumptions that were in his original analysis are here, okay. whatever they are. Mm -hmm. and, and do you, you have the, the do you have the new pricing that we got today in there? Uh, well, this these two graphs are don't include any of the pricing. The pricing that I have was I sent in that in that email. Mm -hmm. uh, pricing, but but also Richard. There isn't, uh, and Carrie, there, the, first of all, the 31% that Encore did is is irrelevant compared to what we're talking about here because we're not going to accept their. So, so their, the best their, and final didn't change any of the PPA prices? It would, it would have Amoresco a little bit. That's about it. Okay. But still, they're not on the higher end anyway. So, 
Um, so, 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 so based on look, based on upward trends on pricing, the 9.4 cents over 20 year period fixed PPA price, which the, this council would love, is 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 probably the best strategy. Okay, and, and that's according to what I find. That's how I look at it. If you're going to sell out in in, in seven years, uh, the escalator is always the better way because you're starting at a lower price over that seven year period. If you're looking, and, and that's if if the prices do trend up, if the tariffs do trend up. Yeah, and so it's hard to imagine electricity prices, you know, going going down. And um, delivery prices, which are even more of a factor. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that, that's that's really. I mean, it's as simple as that, really. Um, but it isn't as simple when you look at other factors. That's all. <laughs> so what is so what's so uh, your sense now? Uh, Sam is just saying that Nick, you know, on Encore because it has the the percentage under, you know, uh, for other reasons too, you know, isn't uh, you know the uh, one of the top contenders. You're thinking, well, well, well yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been all over the place, so I, mm -hmm. but but I but remember, I went from an Encore supporter thinking that lobbying that discount rate every time in loan would be makes more sense, but I've gone from there to to say, look. Um, we're, if we're going to trend up, it's a big difference. And I don't know if you've been looking at my tables at all, but there is just a complete reversal when you start moving up. Okay, mm -hmm. and it makes sense because you you could you're not taking advantage of any of the high side really with a discounted rate. It's a much lower percentage. Okay, uh, and of course I like the fixed rate because I like the fixed rate anyway. I mean I think I think predicting. Uh, moving up is one thing, but predicting um, how a um, how the tariff is going to go up uh, and, and accounting on that with a with an escalator is 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 not as good. Again, except when you're doing seven years, where you start with a lower rate and then it won't catch up to it in seven years. That's the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my my if I didn't pick any winner or loser, and I had to put a name to it, and it was just price, I would vote for the, the 9.4 cent fixed PPA price. That's, mm -hmm. that, would be, that would be my, you know, regardless of the... the, the uh, and again, we could, we could probably negotiate that down a little too, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can. And then okay. um, another, what we could maybe do is pick one option, uh, at the fixed price and then get a sense of if the council thinks there we're definitely going to do the seven year buyout and pick another option depending on how certain they are that we're going to do the seven year buyout if there's another option that's better for that scenario and give them the choice yeah I mean, we can certainly you know um yeah, you know, given you know, you know, different scenarios. I'm trying to think. Um, and again, I mean, in whatever we can, you know, go the next 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 week can be predicated on different conditions, right? Um, and uh, you know, certainly if if there's if there's a need, uh, you know, and we built in time to for negotiation also. Um, um, but uh, yeah. It seems like should probably come in, you know, I mean, with with a you know, pretty you know, a, a firm recommendation. Um, yeah. And then, you know, and trying try to get that down. Yeah. yeah. So explain you know, to them yeah. the two the reasons why we chose one or two yes. over the, you know. Mm -hmm. Give them two choices. If one if one is much better with one set of conditions and one another one is much better with the other set of conditions. If yeah. they're pretty close, then it might not be worth doing two choices. But. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if there's if there's a sub subjective, uh, you know, um, you know, part part of this, you know, where it's you know, it's, you kind of are weighing two 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 equal fat, you know, factors, um, and it's you know, does the town want the comfort left? Do they do they want a fixed price or do they want the percentage savings? Okay, so the good news is, <laughs> I, 
the good news is if you the, the same company who has the lowest for both both the two percent and the and and probably the better offer at eight cents and the nine point four percent fixed is next grid. So again, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that it's the same company. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so and, last and that, time we said that they were ranked third, and we said they were number four on pricing and savings, but they had good experience and they were financially capable. Um, when we talked to their references, did did we have references for them? The next one. Yes. 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 No, yeah, I, I haven't talked to seen two of the references, and they were, they were, you know, they were, I happened to know one very well. That was one of the people I knew from years back. So I got a very good opinion of that one. And I, I talked to the uh, town of Norton or something, the, the town manager or whoever answered the phone. I got a good reference from that as well. I mean, they also have the lowest production, though. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, it's always, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's absolutely head splitting. It's, yeah. yeah. The question is, you know, is there better? How much better are they? I mean, is it, is it significant? Is there a significant difference? Um, That's one question. The other question is, do yeah. we have all the information we need to make a comparison? We what don't have everything for next bid because they haven't given us the, you know, the, basically a conforming bid yet. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that would be a, a I would say a simple call. It would be, they have to have to have to present that in writing, but, but that would be an easy one to get through. But again, I, I sound like I'm, I'm pushing next year and I'm not. Okay. I'm just, okay. Cause Richard, you've made some pretty good points on your side about, you know, and, hmm. um, are there uh, okay? Yeah. Have, have, do we have? Is there one place where all the uh, the reference uh, results are available? Well, what happened was, you know, in good intention that people would that we'd send out questions, but they wouldn't get answered by them. So I started calling people, okay. and 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 I asked. I started asking some specific questions. I was able to ask specific questions about about Mary O'Donnell uh, from Next Group because I knew her. And I knew she she knew she knew about she was a good she's a solar very good solar and wind producer, but really, the guy in the town of Norton, I said she said well there were no problems if they were good they were very good to us, uh, everything was on time you know everything was built well everything's fine you know mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So we still have to get references or do check the references for HAP so we can't make a final decision Let's yeah i mean if, out of the picture i mean it helps in one of the top top two right uh, yeah it seems like the variable with hep now of course i've looked on their website and i do know the person who is running their north american the office which is now in portland yeah. um yeah. but do they have what what projects, what is their history in the US? That just, that made me really nervous before when we were talking about it, I remember. And um, and also that like their original bid was basically ignored everything we said. That made me also <laughs> yeah. very nervous. Um, yeah, they were the first ones I eliminated in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what a comeback they made, huh? <laughs> But again, they don't have any anybody we can speak to, you know, you know about yeah you know, how they actually were to work with us, you know, as, as a partner. Yeah, because they're they've got a lawyer. You're right. I looked at their references. They're like a lawyer. They seem to be just their contacts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other the other thing is what I looked at, and, and it wasn't in the rating system. Um, and and what I liked about well, I liked about Amoresco. I liked about specific, especially Encore and NextGrid, is they have came, come. They've come into the state very early. And I have to include revision in that too. But but um, and they have got between them, I would say, over 100 megawatts of early stage projects for solar farms uh, moving forward. 
I don't know what that means in the rating system, but it's certainly, if you think in terms of a time lapse, whoever they had for, if you're talking about main projects where we have no real history, that would be as close as a history that I would see. You know, and, and it made it shows a commitment, an early commitment by these these folks as well. Mm -hmm. so. Which ones were those, Sam? Encore and Next Grid, among a couple of others. I mean, there was there's there's others like like who didn't like Borrego and Blue Wave and and Revision, of course, right. who came really early before the law even was put into effect, and started um, um, pulling in sites and doing interconnection studies in anticipation. And those guys have gotten off the ground and actually going to be building projects this year. And between Next Grid and um, Encore alone, I'm going to see there's probably 100 megawatts of projects going to be built this year by both those guys, between the two of them. Yeah, so either those would be really would, are solid companies to work with. I mean, I don't, you don't have yeah, any I mean, risk of they, either they of them. They understood a lot up. about it. Uh, and, you know, and so I, though it's not in a rating system, I think in some ways it, it could be somebody you should really consider too. As a, I think it is in our rating system. Isn't... Well, Main experience is in our rating system. Well, we give it that seven point five. That's the point. This is the time last thing, right? Uh, you know, the the only the, the, the obviously the company the carrier that has the main experience is revision, right? And and so everybody else is coming to a new law, new rule, and creating a new new project. So, yeah, you could say the experience, but nobody's got anything built yet, right? So that that's that's yeah. you know, I, but I well, think it, as oh. we're talking, I've kind of oscillated between next grid and encore as to which one I think we should choose, and I have to admit that I keep getting lost on how much their price is, <laughs> but, but but it seems like both of those companies have, um, they seem to keep coming to the top. Did, did you look at my table, my first table, and how they changed yeah. from the price? I've looked in, yeah, I've looked in. Yeah, because I, I think it's important if you're considering those, the difference between the discounted rate and that, um, and so, I know you think that the prices will trend up. Yeah, so, so you, which you, one, which one is, which one is, what I'm losing track of is which bidder has bid which pricing. Okay, so Encore is is the one loan left discounted rate at 29 and a half percent. Okay, yeah. Next grid has the best two, prices uh well they have the the, the best fixed price 9.4 and the best the two percent price at eight cents uh, okay okay so so um you know that was my pricing argument and, and as i say i i think if you look at the, if the tables and if you agree with them or they make sense to you you'll see where the, rever the reverse is real fast in terms of the uh and it makes sense as i said because you're not getting the upside as much on a, on a, on a discounted rate. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at um, this is the ratings that have been done by Tom. This was his the original one, mm -hmm. and then, as you recall, he did a couple of variants. Yes, he did. I remember that. Go ahead. So this basically says what the ex and this, so this is, the next one I'm going to show is what he did was on the experience side for the first variance, which is what this is, the finance rating was changed to 7.5 to 5, the main experience from 2.5 to 5, 5%. All right. And basically, you know, there's Encore, Amoresco, you had tangent in there. Uh, hmm. Next grid is basically third. Yeah. Yeah. Then we change the variant and next grid drops a little bit. Because their production was so low, I think. That was the big thing that knocks well, them down. This doesn't include the lower production. Now, this would drop even more at the lower production. Then this is the second variant. Encore, Amoresco, Tangent, half, next grid is down here. So mm. three variants he did. And then what's the third one? All right. So Encore really shows up very strongly, don't they? Stay at number one all the way. They stay so, at number one for all, all yeah. options. Well, yeah. Yeah, and the problem with Encore is just that they're offered us this um, 
discounted pricing scheme? They, they, no, they, off, they have a set price. I, mean, I don't think it's as good as, as, as the others, as a couple others, okay? 8.7 cents. Oh, it's head. Never mind. Sorry. Basically, if you look at them all, they're basically Encore, Amresco, and HEP. Yeah. And Amresco and HEP change places, but depending on what the, how it changes the rating. So I from a rating point of view, Nextrid really doesn't, doesn't make the grade really, it doesn't look like, right? From, from that, just from a, a way to score. And it's important. We did this for a reason. Yeah, this is our apples to apples comparison. But we, the thing we can negotiate on is price. So let's look at, let me look at what, I want to look and see no, what, uh, uh, just let me drop you off for a second here. I can't do it. Um, of course, Encore, uh, with main experience, you know, they just, they just told us this today or Friday that they've hired a guy and they've opened up a main office. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, yeah. And they were in Vermont before this, so they're not, you know, um, they're a Vermont company. Um, I'm not, uh, yeah. I mean, I thought one of the funny things was Sam, when, when revision came back to us and said, look, I live in the Cape Elizabeth and I should be, I should get the deal. <laughs> I think that was that was that was good. For the record, they never actually said that. <laughs> they never said that. I thought you said that. <laughs> no, they never said that. <laughs> there are minutes being produced here. All right. <laughs> All right. But yeah, the sales again, use what you got. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, but yeah, yeah Kate, the um, revision did ask for a meeting with us, and we politely declined. Yeah. Um, on the grounds that it wouldn't be fair to the other bidders. Among other things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. okay. So let me see what. I mean, the, the uh, Encore, the fact that they reduced their, their interaction costs, so that was interesting too. Um, well, that, that, yeah, I mean, but still, but, but that's on their end, right? They get that anyway. Yeah, well, it's cost sharing, but still, it's. Yeah, and I agree with you there, but it's that's a good point. It's still two hundred thousand dollars, which is a hell of a lot higher than everybody else's. So there's a chance for cost sharing there too, I guess, if you mm -hmm. put that in there. Better better chance than anywhere else. I surprised they're so high in the first place. I mean, yeah, that, that was really high, and it's still kind of high actually. Hmm. Especially for what, what the, the stellar, the stellar substation we have. This is the, the tree of what we haven't seen. This is basically, Amoresco, this hasn't changed. It's at half an acre. Yeah. And Encore, this is their original March. Mm -hmm. Landfill only. And then today they sent another one that basically this is their, this is an option price they've given us and they're taking out. Yeah. Uh, an additional three acres of tree removal. This is HEP. And I haven't seen any changes, but it looks like they're well within the yeah. boundaries. But hey, in did there, you notice the HEP? Well, go back to the other one, uh, the other two. It's interesting. I, I think that HEP is not using a lot of that bigger field that the others are. Look, look, yeah, go back one and see. I think so. Encore is not either. Yeah. Some, something is. Why looks like Encore maybe in coaching over here, but they say yeah, yeah. It looks like they're basically using most of it. I mean, have, it looks like they're you know they haven't even filled. But in their in their text, what they say in April, it said some trees and brush will probably have to be removed to complete this installation. We believe a system of this size or something close to it is achievable. And I haven't seen what they, I haven't looked at what they sent today. I don't know, I don't know if they, what we just received changed any of this or not, but this is no. what I thought we had today. And then this is, this is next grid. Yeah, yeah. see the, how, how much, the, how much they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. No, it's similar. And it's similar. This week. I don't see any change. It's similar. Yeah, somewhere, I guess. I think that's 
it appears to me that HEP, Encore, and NextGrid are the same, pretty much the same, and the only difference is Amoresco. So you wonder why you wonder why next grid's so so lower in production, right? I mean some assumptions they must have used in their production. Well, if Is I look at the they use a different tool. Yeah, look at their production numbers. They were like with the rooftop, without the rooftop it was eleven eighty or something kilowatt for kilowatt. It was really low. This is, this is right here. This is what yeah. they're so look at the look at look at this uh, kilowatt hour year on the on just the land land side. Really low. Yeah, it's the lowest one. I, and, 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 and I've never seen. I tell you some. I've been all. I come all over the state. I haven't seen anything this low. What's well, a function of the size, right? Even I mean, most I guess country. Yeah. 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 Sam, I think you're right. I mean, it's it's a oh. smaller smaller than some of the other ones, right? Yeah. Can so we look at the number of modules that they have? That might give us. Mm, that's no, that's the production levels that are based on energy production and. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> modules modules are based off that in terms of wattage, pure wattage. And, and, but and by the not way, that much lower than than uh, yeah. Encore. Yeah. Encore is one three. These guys are one close to one two. One, one two something. Encore is one two. We they're, they're one three with the rooftop. This is without look just, the, just look at the landfill itself. Yeah, this is without the landfill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Encore is, is about one two something two five, which I really agree with. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Well, of course, played this one pretty straight down the middle, as far as I can see. Well, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wish there was a slam dunk. But yeah, right, there's these multiple different variables. I mean, now, I mean, if it's between next grid and, and Encore, you know, do we, I mean, do we, do we have, I mean, they, 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 Encore gave us this weird thing where they've, um, I guess we have the tariff rate and we have their percentage, you know, for like the price. You know, so we can, how do we, how do we kind of normalize for production? Can I mean, it, what is, what is Encore's, I can't get to my screen. What is Encore? Encore did give us a set rate too, or or a PPA rate, based on a a set price or or, or an escalator. I think as well, didn't they? Yeah, they have two escalators: one point five and two percent. And one point five is eight point nine nine cents. Yeah. And their two percent escalator is eight point six two cents. Okay. Barbara, we get them down to eight cents. Maybe they're the ones. I think she has a point <laughs> because they are rated very well. We seem to like them. I like the their production numbers in terms of um, what I think is realistic. I like the potential cost sharing as well. I just didn't like, I just didn't, I, and I originally liked them better than anybody, but I wasn't sure what's gonna happen with the discount rate going in the future. That's my only mm -hmm. drawback. So yeah, if 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 I can, um, if we can, um, I'm gonna. Do I have permission to get to give uh, Jesse Stowell a call and ask him? He's the Encore guy. Yep, he's the VP of development. The CEO, CCO. It would hey. ask me. Well, man, I think. If we're gonna if we're gonna try to negotiate with anyone, we kind of have to do it with everybody. Well, no, I think it's it's you can I mean, without going through without coming kind of, you know. But we but we've all but see the thing is we're, we're trying to pick a winner here, and right now everything, and I agree everything uh, we've done it we've gone through this rating system. For why did we do it right? And um, we've come up with Encore very consistently. 
okay? Um, we, we've got real issues with HEP. We've got issues with next grid to some extent. And we've definitely got, uh, and we have, I, have a, I have a pricing issue with Amoresco only, but it's a pricing issue, which is very important. Um, so we should, we, should, we should say, okay, if you, if you get to this number, this, we might might be able to select them at that point. Okay, I mean that that would be I wouldn't know how to phrase that, but I would be very careful about that. But it would make our job whatever. So I, I don't know how things feel about that. But do we do the negotiations, or does the town do the negotiations? Well, we have to give them the final price. I didn't know if if um, we would select a bidder and then the attorneys or whoever would start negotiating. Or... Yeah, I think the people who do the contracts do the negotiating of the final price. Are you sure? I mean, I get, they negotiate the contracts for sure. I don't, I, we're presenting the price to the, 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 and we know that that price is going to work. I don't know if they're, well, we could ask. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean ask Matt. Yeah, we, we're, we're talking tomorrow. Just we're talking tomorrow. Weekly. Okay, yeah, we're talking tomorrow. Calls. Right. How far um, off are they? What we're asking. Um, I, in the two percent, they're about a little over half a cent. Realistic that they're going to come down? How much? They come down halfway. I would. I still consider them probably. It won't be the, the exact <clears throat> this. Yeah, in my opinion, I think from my perspective, Amresco has played it pretty straight right from the good day one. Yeah. They've listened to us. They've done what we've asked them to. Um, we haven't had to go back to them. Uh, well, they screwed up their numbers the first time, but they acknowledged it and corrected it. Um, and, you know, they've consistently come out ahead as far as our rating system goes. So the only thing, the only fly, potential fly in the ointment I see is if, from my perspective, is if the analysis that Sam has done somehow significantly reverses the the uh, the pricing issue issues. Well, it wasn't so. You know, Richard, I, I have no problem with their their price structure. I like the idea with the uptrend that they have a fixed PPA price. They do. It's just that it's higher than everybody else's. Okay, and and pretty significantly. That's my only problem. No, their structure is fine, from my point of view. I just my only look. I, I, you know, Richard, I agree with you 100%. Amoresco is a is a player. It's straight. They're they're they're. You'd have a lot of confidence in them. They're a very branded company. Okay, and very professional. Yeah. I personally, my personal opinion is I I couldn't think of going to the council with the highest price out there, basically, of the of the finalists. That that's just, you know, that that's that's my my, my one. You know, everybody has one thing, right? <laughs> and th that's my one thing on that, okay? Yeah, well, well I, you know, if I had to make a decision tonight, I'd say Encore. That would be my vote. Okay. So is Encore the best option for both no buyout and buyout after seven years? Uh, they're better than, than, than the fixed PPA. Okay, um, but um, they're okay. They're fine. Yeah, I mean, their seven-year buyout is fixed fair market value. That was when they were the ones. Well, whatever it is, well, it doesn't matter what level it is. Who has the, yeah, who's going to be the lowest in seven years? So the lowest ones, Barbara, the lowest ones in seven years are going to be the ones with escalators that start lower. Right. Right. And then if the fair market value of a lower. Um, a system that's smaller would be less money than a system that's bigger, right? Just so if you're buying a hundred panels versus 75 panels, it's going to be more for the hundred mm -hmm. panels. Yeah. Yeah. As far yeah. as the actual buyout price. Yeah. Yeah. But you also get less production that way. But if we're going to potentially buy more energy from another solar farm that might not matter as much as far as the amount of production that we get and, and by the way barbara good point 
Um, but and the other thing that goes with this, and we we can't really can't completely eliminate it at this point, is those solar farms who are ready to build. Right, that's what I'm. I'm uh, saying. Those two, Next Grid and, and Encore, could sell you product before the end of the year. Okay. And, yeah. and by the way, I, I, should I complicate things now, Sam? Go for it. All right. Go <laughs> uh, we've got kind of permission to do this. Um, if we chose an Encore, and again, let's say, I'm very confident that Encore could supply us with all of our solar savings until the project gets built and then would back off the need uh -huh. to so we could start saving all of our needs when the first solar farm gets built and then back that off uh, when, when, um, when we build our farm. That way we garner the maximum savings. Otherwise, um, and this is something I, I, met, I, I, I talked to Moran about, there is, as usual, we never have a perfect model here. And these solar farms have, have, have gotten to a point where they're starting to become some issues. Those early guys got through those issues because there were no issues, they were early bird. But the next group, which by the way, a lot of my farms are in, <laughs> are getting involved in these cluster studies, ISO cluster studies, they're getting involved in some pretty big wetlands issues. And some of them may not even get built to 2022. Which might be one of our might be our farm. Very likely. Okay. Our saving grace here is I don't think we're going to have any competition on a substation. So um, uh, so the, the, if we can show the town that we can actually buy at a great price until we build our farm, we'll even that'll even be that'll even be a, a slam dunk for us too. And again, Amoresco. Not Amoresco. Amoresco is not even that first wave. Um, Next Grid uh, and 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 Encore are two of the of the leaders in that case. Mm -hmm. One of those are uh, if that's a viable option. Um, and we mentioned this to um, uh, Matt. I don't recall. He's you know uh, last week and uh, he said that he would, that that's something that I think the town would be open to for sure. Um, which is great if that's an option that we have. We would have with next grid or, or encore that makes you know, that, yeah that I mean, goes well for going with them. So, so this is the thing that was in the back of my mind. I tell you this for a reason. I'm thinking that if we went with an encore, maybe even the next grid, we went with an encore. If we can put the whole package together by getting a lower price because we buy all that that energy from them as well, mm -hmm. well that might be a way of, of, of leveraging ourselves even more. Yeah. Yeah, we certainly don't want to open up this 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 door right now. But there's also the uh, the balance of the town's power power consumption, um, and that could be a you know community community solar opportunity you know for you know for for residents too. Um, yeah. But that's that's probably a, you know a, a different initiative. But yeah, if there's well, if there, 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 there's there's Encore, supply. Tell, there. Hey Sam, I can tell you Encore and Next Grid are not interested in your your residential business at this point. Mm -hmm. um, they have a lot of these companies have issues with with credit. Um, there, there's a couple others who are do, uh, selling residential now and are, and are going into low income housing as well as anything else. They're more geared to that. These guys want bigger projects. Mm -hmm. uh, I already know uh, that Encore won't take anything under forty thousand a year, which is you know not a big commercial company, and I think uh, next year it's at sixty thousand a year. Mm -hmm. Just for just for their subscribers right now, yeah. So that that might that's just, that's definitely in our in our in a wheelhouse, but may not be at this point. Mm -hmm. Now we could do interviews with our final two if we wanted to, right? Yeah. Maybe that's. I mean, I feel like we've been analyzing this for a long time, so we should probably make a choice. But <laughs> mm -hmm. we probably <laughs> analyze this more than anybody in the state together. Any of this in the state. I have all to together, say, despite all, all the, the analysis, hours. I'm I'm not sure who we should pick. I do agree. I think the price is. I keep coming back to the price now that we're at this. <laughs> well, why don't we ask Matt if we can should negotiate a price or if 
the town should negotiate a price and maybe uh, yeah and maybe if he wants to interview like yeah. It seems like, like if you imagine doing this kind of project at your own house, you would want to talk to the people. Like you wouldn't just have this email correspondence. So if that's a step that they would want to do, mm -hmm. that'd be interesting. Two questions tomorrow, Sam, right? Two questions Wait. for tomorrow. Two questions for tomorrow. Oh yeah, right? yeah, for, yeah, for, for right. Matt, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I think, you know, um, uh, Tell him we have to talk to him tomorrow. Tell him we can't postpone the meeting tomorrow. Okay. I know. I know. Has he postponed a lot of the meetings? No, he's they had some yeah. COVID yeah. scare uh, <laughs> the, other, the other week. Uh, so um that we've that had two meetings with him though. We've had two meetings. Yeah, he's been great. Um no, he's and, he, um, he you know, my, my prediction is he'll he'll say go ahead, do it. Because that's mm -hmm. the way he is when it comes to that stuff. He said, you mm -hmm. know, he yeah. probably wants to bother less, but let's see what happens. It'd be great. Find out. I think we're getting. I think we're getting somewhere here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Sure. So, so if we have a, if we have a top two, you know, and they're they both have kind of you know equal weighted pros and cons. Um, then maybe we ask them. Like, I mean, we already did ask for a best and final, right? But if we negotiate, it's like, all right, what is your real best and final? Yeah, you know, I guess we can do that again. <laughs> just say we we have this. You know, this is the price from this. That we're shooting for based on what came yeah. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you match it, maybe? Yeah. Who, who mm -hmm. are the two? Yeah. Because we don't have the best and final from next grid yet, because they haven't, you know, they, the only thing we've got is with a rooftop. Then that's a question that I will have to ask, okay? Yeah. Let, let uh, you know, I. And are we not allowed to? I can't remember. I'm lost track of. Are we not allowed to do that rooftop? I like, wouldn't approach that i'm not really sure but my, didn't we say didn't we tell people that they could do that if they wanted to we went back to say, you know, not, is that, we, it's a non-conforming bid that's yeah. what we said but you didn't we actually say that they could do that when yeah when, i think originally we did, did we? yeah at some point yeah. i think yeah. we said they could yeah but then we went back to them and said you know now we want we're, we're only interested in landfill only yeah it's a simple question um Doug Server, Doug Server, yeah, Doug Server is is the guy. Andrew Clegg is his boss. Yeah, uh, okay. Let, let's let's ask that question of them. Let's just send one more note out, Perry. Let, let's just do one more question. Follow it up fast. Will you be willing to to um, um, be will, willing to to hold that price for just the landfill? prices your your prices and we can specifically talk about what those prices are or is the landfill price better because maybe it's more expensive to do the rooftop piece you both together as opposed to one alone yeah well i don't know maybe the rooftop itself is more expensive so the average it is normally it would yeah be normally yeah yeah because yeah. they probably had to replace the roof so yeah, if he had to replace the roof, they wouldn't they wouldn't do the rooftop for that price. They're probably assuming that, that we have a, a lifetime roof. But yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's get the I mean, those are not difficult questions. Let's get those answered. And uh, I think we're at least at least I think we're 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 at least heading down the encore path a little bit more. But we you know, we've got to get a couple of questions answered. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to get you know, you know clarify a couple of things. Um, now, as for the timing, so we we are on the agenda for next Monday yep. to provide a final. Um, yeah, yeah, we won't at the at the close of this meeting, we won't have made that final recommendation you know, for ourselves. Um, yeah. you know, but it'll be conditioned on a couple of things. I mean, as a, as a, as a group, um, do you want to have our? I mean, kind of a, a under the radar you know, emergency meeting at the end of the week to, to check in? Or do we, you know, to push back, you know, another four weeks or something like that? I mean, that will kind of mess up our timing all for the overall project. I don't know if we need to push it back. I think what we should do is get the questions answered and then do an analysis on each one with whatever price, if Matt says we can negotiate the price, then we'll negotiate the best price for each one and then tell the council you know we pick this one based on this these criteria and these answers that they gave us 
and if one is better for, like I said, the buyout versus not buying out in seven years, then we can give them both mm -hmm. options, mm -hmm. and then they can make the final decision if they, if that's a, a choice to be made. <clears throat> yeah, and shoot for, you know, Thursday, Monday is Monday. You know, I'm not sure how quickly. I mean, we can probably do a, you know, a, a phone. A, you know, a phone interview, I guess you can set up as the interview. Um, but yeah, yeah I guess. Wanna... Maybe put the numbers in what that you get from them into a little analysis and we can do it by email. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds look, good. Look, I, I don't feel bad about not picking it tonight. I think we, we set a goal of that, but I think we've come somewhere from our first part of the discussion on. I think we've got a little more, a little more traction here. Mm -hmm. as well. mm -hmm. So I'm not, you know, I'm not, we should be able to get this done this week, but if something happens and, you know, we'll, we'll get this done. So the, the questions for Encore are, can you, you know, bring your, bring your price, you know, down to the, the you know, the next good price basically, right? Um, we wouldn't put it quite that in, in those terms. But that's, that's, the, that's the main question there for, for Encore is the pricing bit. And then on next grid, the question is, yeah, yeah. Can you still? Are your, is your pricing still still good even without the the rooftop? Or how does the rooftop change? Right. Basically, give us a give us your numbers for rooftop only. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Give us a quote for rooftop only. Price Land process fill. elimination. Is that it? But it could Land be. So see, Richard, that that's good. But the problem Land is they may be they, they may be they may be spilling on scale too so maybe they're, they're they're looking at size so landfill only i think is best mm -hmm. yeah. all right not a big deal okay sounds good do we and uh, carrie to your question about interviews you know kind of a, a, a for more of a formal interviewing process um how str how strong do you think we should do that i mean i see that it makes sense um but can, are, can, can, I, can I can I chuckle a little bit, guys? And this, I love you guys. I mean, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Nobody does all this stuff. Nobody at the door. The municipalities. I've talked to municipalities, <laughs> and they don't have a half of them don't have a clue when they do this stuff. Oh, they don't choose anybody. We're doing so much more work in this thing, and it's. Well, it's hopefully, we're not we're not doing analysis paralysis. <laughs> well, we're, 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 we're all a little God bit forbid. guilty of that, right? Okay, we're all a little bit guilty of that, but but I, I know I, I think it's wonderful we're doing this. But we may be doing a little bit too much. So I mean, let's if we interview somebody, let's just unless it's really a contention here, let's definitely interview the finalist. And if there's any problem in an interview, fine. If we if we we feel that there's an issue, but really for the most part, you just knew how some of these people get selected around the, around the, this state. You would just gag, really. <laughs> I'm not talking about South Portland and Portland, obviously, but I'm talking about a lot of communities here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, um, we got those questions, um, and. Draft those up and send them to you, Perry, to send off um, tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Um, does that sound good? Yeah. Forget there. Richard, how are you feeling? Forget there. What's that? Perry, one thing. Uh, could you resend me the HEP stuff? Because I can't find it that I, I got it. I did send the HEP about a half hour ago. I'm wondering if it's going into your spam or something. Yeah, it must be. They think I'm selling you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Are you reading the donuts the interview, by the way? Sure. <laughs> Not seeing you in spam. <sighs> Richard, it's your computer tonight. I can tell it's your computer. It's nobody else's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, yes, yeah, Sam, your um your phantom email bounce back finally has gone has gone into my spam. So I don't have to look at those hotmail bounce backs really? anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, no more hotmail. No, no, that's. Um, great. Okay, good. Well, so we'll, we'll, we'll um, send these follow ups to um, Encore and Expert tomorrow. Thank you in advance, Barry. Um, and we'll kind of hopefully kind of, you know, regroup, have answers, you know, quickly, quickly enough that we can, you know, turn around a, you know, a final response um, for the meeting on Monday. Yeah, Perry? Yes. I've got next grid, but not hemp. Hang on, where? Uh, can you see that? I sent an hour ago. It, that's, that's the one, yeah. Is this your email address? Yeah. Because it didn't get bounced back. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. What's the date on that one, Perry? Just curious of the proposal. Because I know July they sent that weird one. July 2nd was the date of the proposal, I think. July 2nd, yeah. July yeah. 2nd was their like follow up thing. Yeah, that's July just. July 2nd was just like a, a one page. No, no, he's got another page here. Yeah, it's three pages total. Oh, three, three pages. pages. Three pages, yeah. Seen that. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. And somebody Richard, I'll try forwarding it to you too. Just yeah. so you can everybody says it out I get something. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great if bombarded. <laughs> All right, should I try to send you two some? Hopefully you should have it by now. Well, I have mine. Yeah. I did have reserves of, uh, about HEP with um, not having much experience in our country and how that would reflect on any type of service needs or, or maintenance needs on the mm -hmm. site. I don't, I don't know if that would play a role or not. Well, you, you know, Harry, it, you know it, it depends on who the organization is. Most of these guys, except for Amoresco, by the way, let's, let's give a give nod to Amoresco. Amoresco has their own, own O&M team. So they look to, like, like my investors, they look to do mass solar farms as close as possible to do O&M on their own. And but most of these guys, I don't care, Next Grid, uh, the Madison Group there, uh, uh, Greenbacker, which is uh, uh, Encore, they all hire local. They all take contracts out. They even hire, they even build local. All they most of these guys are only, um, and this includes Amoresco. They're only uh, construction managers, basically. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's a very you know legitimate concern that people, and we should be able to answer these questions too. Um, you know, for the for the the final um, recommendation discussion, I imagine we'll also be involved in, in the negotiations, unless that just um, uh, you know that goes get just goes on. And also at that point, it, um, we should ask Matt tomorrow um, about the the legal stuff. I know we had asked, we had told them we were concerned about the, the their default lawyer not having enough qualifications in terms of reading this. Yeah. Um, we should follow up with that. All right. All right. Okay. Any um any Thanks, final guys. thoughts? Otherwise, we'll just um yeah you know, do this follow up. No final thoughts. <laughs> All right. We're good. Thanks. Anybody? Anybody want to um? What's I forgot the terminology now. Propose an ending. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> That's it. All right. Barb, Barb seconds it. All right, right everybody. And we're all in favor. I'm in favor. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Sleep well. Bye. 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 Take care.